Hi guys, today I'm going to show you all the elements in in Teams forms and uh, what, what, what is the uh, element can be used and what is their functions in what kind of scenario we can use this kind of element. So let's start. So the first one is a text. This is a single text box which you can use this one to click na name or email address or even some accounting or some or else, right? Maybe you can put other one is like company. So this is can collect the information about a single text. They can write as much as text they want, collect single information. This is this one, right? Sometimes the customer or your user want to uh, input some more information, right? So we need our text arrows. So maybe for this one is the uh, remarks or reasons. You want to use a you, you want to use a text arrow to collect more information. And, uh, text arrow can display more information on the same uh, same page. It says this one will have radio buttons. The radio button, you can put some preset options for the user to select. Maybe, for example, right, we can put that uh, region. Okay, for here, we put as a Singapore. And uh, Malaysia, Australia, and of course, right, you can add others so they can fill in their own information here. So, this is a radio button for checkbox, right? The radio button actually can stack only one option, but for checkbox, they can stack multiple. So, we can we can ask, right, what, uh, what is your favorite color and say color. So we can put as red, blue, green. Of course, you can add others here as well. So this is checkbox. And uh, for here, we can also put as a drop down list. The drop down list we can put as uh, for that. For nationality, uh, for here, Chinese, Singapore, Australian. So they can snap from here. After drop down link, uh, we have a linkage. The linkage is not. We have multiple drop down list, which means that sometimes we, we, we say that city. The first we ask them to choose from the uh, maybe country, right? Like for uh, Singapore, Australia. And then we have a secondary for Singapore. Actually, there are only one Singapore city. But we can choose for Australia, and we have a city. Email. Then, yeah, me wrong. Yes, Melbourne, and we can add others. So we can see, right? We we have, we have tried this one first. A preview. So for here, right? You see, I, if I choose Singapore, here only have Singapore only. But if you choose Australia, here have Sydney. This one. So this is how we're going to design linkage multiple drop down list. And here is what we do is Chinese and uh, Singaporean. But here, currently, you can have multiple choice. If you choose others, you can write your own. But for region, right, you can only have one choice. Okay, the others can write your own. So this is the first few examples of the element. After the linkage, we have the date. Of course, the date is very easy, right? You can collect the date. Application date, birth date, application date and the birth date after this one we have date range because for that for new application right you have start date and day so for here we have a date range number number is very easy this one get numbers that what, what number is not your age right or you get number to see the price of course of course, others, right, you can get is uh, 
maybe for 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 something right I get numbers uh, for here I get numbers for the price and also he said this one right there has a range the price you can set a range that may be from 10 to 100 what is the number range for here right I have a test for here if a, if we have a range then if we fill in sorry then we have to give you error message so this is the same range after this one of currency this is very easy right we have amount or price if you put as amount and of course you can set the currency here the currency here we can put it as a uh, SGD we can put uh, USD US dollar of course we have more currency you can choose from so this is based on your requirement you can put your currency here so we put the SGD here so this is amount so here is some basic features I want basic element I give you some introductions you can try it by yourself and also there are a lot of elements here one of the last one I want to introduce is very powerful things for all the elements right you can see there is a multi-language setting for example put this one name so because we have employee from different countries they use different languages so what we do we can here right we can maintain different uh, language different display characters here because for English this is name for Chinese we can put it as and for traditional Chinese we can put it as a Xinmin as well so after this one right if they log in with different language you will get different user interface so that's all about today's session. Thank you.